at uh, Yota Devices. So, who are you? My name is Lau Gekla. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Yota Devices. And uh, this is your product? This is our product, yeah, exactly. So, how soon? The product will come in uh, Q4. It will start shipping in Q4 in uh, all markets from uh, Europe, US. Uh, we'll start in Russia and a few months later we'll go to the rest of Europe. And on the back? On the back you have the beautiful uh, EPD display, um, which basically uh, helps you uh, getting uh, effortless uh, notifications. Uh, it uh, helps you always staying on and it uh, makes the interaction with the smartphone much more natural and human. Nice. So what are you showing here at, uh, at Mobile World Congress? So we are showing, uh, first of all, uh, the Yoto phone, which I have here. Uh, at the same time, we are showing our uh, LTE, LTE modems and routers. We're coming with several new uh, products. I can go with you around here. So, well, do you need one? You know, going here. In here. So if we go down here, yeah. uh, I'll show you the uh, modems and routers. To film it through here. Need film it through. Basically, have uh, down here we have the modems and routers, which is uh, basically LTE-based uh, devices. Um, it's LTE USB modems. It's uh, modems, but it's also routers, so Wi-Fi routers. Um, some of them is our high-end design one. Here you have an e-ink display, for instance. These ones are our multi-mode uh, Wi-Fi routers, uh, where you basically can uh, do a hotspot, share Wi-Fi with your friends uh, through LTE. It's a Wi-Fi. Yeah, exactly. It's more than that. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, this looks really nice. We, what we have done, uh, we focused on uh, three different things. Uh, first of all, we focused a lot on the antenna design. We want this to be really far powerful devices. At the same time. Uh, we want to make sure that people don't need to install uh, the drivers. So these products are driverless. Uh, if there's any updates in drivers and things like this, the operator can push it out directly to the device, uh, which means that the end user can in reality buy this modem and within 15 seconds he can start to use uh, LTE. So how many uh, of these uh, USB modems or routers have you been selling? We have sold in total 3 million uh, uh, motors and devices, 3 million. 3 million? Uh, last year alone we sold one, one, 1 million. Actually here you see our evolution, so all our different products uh, throughout the history. So 2009 and uh, up towards, uh, this, this was uh, coming up in 2015, 2014 in the future. Okay, exactly. Actually this is my colleague uh, Alim. Uh, who is uh, the head of uh, the, the connectivity devices, and he can show you some of these uh, nice devices. Can you show it over here with the light? Sure, sure. Can you show it in this light? Yeah, sure. Oh, no, there's no light. No, no not a good idea. Like this? Yeah. So this is a portable router and a dongle, which works in 2G, 3G, 4G networks. Uh, the, you have the, yeah, you're listening, yeah. Can you clip it on? Sorry. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah. So it's working in 2G, 3G, 4G networks. Uh, so Dangle is based on Qualcomm 9215 and uh, so is the router. We have several things here, uh, which, uh, which is our innovation. First thing is uh, extremely big battery life. We have only 2,000 uh, 2, milliamps per hour battery, but uh, at the same time, device can work up to 60 hours, 60 hours, on connected with LTE and Wi-Fi on. And with iPhone, for example, it works on uh, up to 20 hours. Uh, my personal record in Moscow was 20 hour, one hour in actual LTE network in Moscow. 20 hour, one hour. Router, portable router. LTE, router. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. the top uh, longest in the world? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Nice. Actually, uh, if you if you are working with your iPhone or iPad and you have all synchronization on, it will work around 18 hours with uh, Safari, Gmail, Facebook, and all this. Things. How much it cost? What's the price? Uh, the price is set by operator actually. So uh, we it depends on the local country. Basically, yeah, local country is uh, actually different taxes, different uh, different operators. We do not set the price. Do you, do you say what kind of processor is inside? Yes, it's Qualcomm 9215. 9 and uh, a couple of words regarding the technologies that we have here. Actually, one thing is the e-ink display here. 
It is a special ink display with a, uh, which can operate even the device is off. And we can show the battery status here. You see it's full now. I can turn the device on and uh, the device will be uh, operating in a special mode when uh, there is a private Wi-Fi network. But when you are meeting with uh, your friends in a cafe, you might want to share the neat internet access. In this case, you, you see the smile. It means that when you click this uh, button to the right position, you will have a secondary Wi-Fi network, which your friends will connect to. And uh, you don't have to, to say a password to them, because this password could be your bank account password or Facebook password at the same time. Okay. Uh, this device supports up to 10 connections. And uh, so if you are run out of battery, it's very easy. It's another pattern that we have. Uh, this is uh, USB hinge in a portable router. You just open it and connect it to any power source. You can connect it to your laptop. It will work as a, will work as a dongle. It will charge from your laptop. And it will also be a Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time. You can pl put it in your car and your uh, AC socket to your car, or you put it directly to your uh, charger without a cable. But you want to use a cable, micro USB is also there. That's very cool. Yep. Can we see the, the other one? Yeah, sure. So this is the next generation product. It's a uh, dongle and a portable router based... This light? Yeah. yeah, it's a dongle and portable router based on Qualcomm 9225. We use a new generation design here, and it's uh, very unique materials. It's uh, glass fiber and uh, a special uh, alloy, uh, metal alloy. Actually, this uh, thing is also leather, natural leather on the other part. It's a premium device. We use the ink display here, round ink display, which uh, can show clock, yeah, clock in idle mode. Uh, and uh, we can show, for example, a map or location-based uh, weather here or a signal level, or whichever, whatever user prefers. It is a button here which you can switch the display mode. Nice. Is this LTE 2? LTE 2G and 3G, and uh, it also supports speeds up to 150 megabits per second. Nice. No price, huh? It's also carrier-based. The same, yes. It's carrier-based, yeah. Yes. So, so uh, that's uh, where the company is going. That's what, exactly. So uh, our history, you see here, is modems and routers starting from uh, WiMAX to LTE. And uh, now we have uh, our phone and there'll be much more stuff to come. Is there any software updates in CES? Yeah, what we've done is we've worked a little bit more on the uh, uh, different uh, applications. Um, we wanted, uh, for instance, to make the phone uh, more uh, human and uh, natural. Uh, so we have added this uh, new way of uh, SMS. Um, we have uh, added a few more examples on uh, notifications like Twitter, like Facebook, etc. Yeah. I can show that to you. Uh, I'll turn it on here. So for instance, uh, let me start with the, with the first thing. Yeah. Do you want to, me to put it like this? You can see the screen. Um, the first thing is that we, uh, since we launched in December and started to communicate this phone, actually a lot of people uh, have uh, come with good ideas to us. Um, we kind of always knew we wanted to change the way people are interacting with their phone in a human way, in an emotional way. And people have come up with really good ideas. One of these ideas was to, uh, uh, now that we have the back panel, we can actually change the SMS from just being boring text to include pictures. So we have put in a dictionary which automatically looks for uh, known words like love, like birthday, and it will uh, generate a picture in the text. So in this case, I'm receiving a text, uh, I love you, from another person. And I'll show you how that will pop up on my uh, Yota phone. So basically you have the, 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 the heart here, instead of uh, just a boring text. It could be a birthday cake, it could uh, be any other uh, uh, funny picture or, or what we, we are. We are working with on the list of words versus pictures. So this shows you a new way of interacting with your phone. Uh, the other thing which we have done is uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, which we talked about uh, since the, when we met you last time. Sorry, I just need to change something here. Uh, the uh, I love your SMS is, uh, has high priority, so I need to, to first remove it. Um, but I, let me show you the Facebook and Twitter. Um, here we have uh, the Twitter coming, and, and basically um, it pushes uh, all the Twitter information to you. Uh, you can also choose to get it on uh, uh, each minute or how it is. And remember, it only uses battery when it's refreshing and you're getting the latest uh, 
uh, uh, Twitter always on and uh, always uh, to you. I can show the same for Facebook. You see here a typical uh, Facebook update coming to you so you don't miss anything. Uh, it, it, it's, it's always on. Nice. Are you speeding up so you can release it soon? Uh, yes, we'll release it in Q4, uh, Q4? Like, like we planned. Can you not do sooner? Uh, we would love to, but we still have a lot of uh, stuff to do. We have now hired uh, our manufacturer, which is also new since uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we found a manufacturing partner in Singapore called uh, Hypi, and uh, basically uh, uh, we are now starting to uh, really manufacture the problem, product. At the same time, we are building some very uh, strong relationships and building up our aching system on content and on the media deals. Uh, we need to get all that ready before we can start shipping products. Can you? Uh adjust the processor speeds or do you have different types of, we are using Qualcomm, can we use a faster one? We could use a faster one. Uh, right now we have decided to launch with uh, the Snapdragon 8960 dual core, uh, which we think is pretty fast uh, for the type of users we are looking for. However, it's very easy for us to uh, improve the product. And of course, we are now already thinking about what the Generation 2 uh, Yoto form would be. But there's a lot of things we could add to it. Even walking around at uh, this event, I've seen several uh, ideas of technology. It would not take us a long time to integrate yeah. it because we are a small startup. How many phones do you expect to sell? Um, we don't. Uh, we don't know yet, uh, and we don't communicate it. But of course, we have an idea because we are going to sell uh, in uh, most of the European countries, in a few Asian countries, North America, South America. So it will be a big volume of, of products. Hundreds of thousands. Exactly. Yeah. Millions? No. Potentially, yes. Maybe. Yeah. That'd be cool. All right. That's so, what we hope for. And you're also working on future versions. We're working on future versions of the Yota phone, but also working on future products, communicative products. Uh, you saw our modems and routers. There'll be more stuff coming there. Uh, there'll also be more stuff like this, bigger, smaller, different ideas uh, coming up from our, our lab.